1905. This was the year NUS was born as the Strait Settlements and Federated Malay States Government Medical School, later called King Edward VII College of Medicine. In 1928, Raffles College was established to provide tertiary level education in the liberal arts and science. Nineteen forty nine saw the merger of King Edward the Seventh College of Medicine and Raffles College into a single comprehensive university, the University of Malaya. In nineteen sixty two, the Singapore campus of the University of Malaya became an autonomous institution, the University of Singapore. In 1980, the University of Singapore merged with Nanyang University, a privately funded Chinese medium institution, to become the National University of Singapore, or NUS as it's commonly called. The shifting to a higher gear for a more integrated learning experience at NUS began with its move to Kent Ridge a dynamic campus which is today a vibrant cosmopolitan community of about 40,000. Building on the strengths of its predecessor institutions, the pace of NUS's evolution accelerated in the 80s and 90s, evident in several areas of university life. The setting up of the Institute of Systems Science was the first of many initiatives that heralded the move towards making NUS a research-intensive university. Over the next 20 years, this would translate into 24 affiliated national and university-level institutes and centers of cutting-edge research. Along the way, there have been some noteworthy accomplishments in R&D, including breakthroughs in in vitro fertilization, ophthalmology, and genetic engineering. A radical change in the university system of education saw the introduction of a modular system, first introduced at the Faculty of Business Administration. This meant that students could progress at a pace that best suited them. A new model in global education was forged through a strategic partnership with MIT, the Singapore MIT Alliance, where virtual classrooms with video conferencing were introduced. The NUS Library the first academic library in Southeast Asia to offer online access to overseas databases opened up a wider world of possibilities for higher learning and research. NUSNET, the largest optical fiber campus network in the Asia Pacific, linked all campus computer resources and became the springboard for even greater IT developments like the award-winning integrated virtual learning environment. NUS will aim to be the intellectual and entrepreneurial pulse of Singapore, the confluence of local and foreign talent. NUS will be a cradle of creativity, a hub for innovation, and an intellectual mosaic where ideas and ideals converge. Bold and innovative schemes have become a way of life at NUS like the University Scholars Program, or USP, a four-year honors program designed to develop the intellectual, leadership, and personal qualities of talented undergraduates. With Singapore's drive to become a life sciences hub, the Graduate School for Integrative Sciences and Engineering was set up. The Yong Siu To Conservatory of Music, a collaboration with the Peabody Institute of Johns Hopkins University, helps make NUS a complete, first-rate, comprehensive institution. Public policy training and research in Asian societies has been enhanced by the establishment of the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy. The research environment at the university is continually being re-energized. The Division of Bioengineering at the Faculty of Engineering has many interdisciplinary initiatives. 
through the innovative application of nanotechnology in bioengineering. NUS is now looking into producing a new generation of biomaterials and biodevices. Meanwhile, the establishment of the Institute of South Asian Studies, Asia Research Institute and the Asian Law Institute create great opportunities for cross-cultural, multidisciplinary approaches to research and education in niche areas. NUS is on its way to becoming a global knowledge enterprise. NUS Enterprise is currently promoting and enhancing entrepreneurship on many fronts. Overseas colleges are being established in entrepreneurial hubs and talented students are immersed in these challenging business environments. To date, NUS has helped students, alumni and staff in the formation of more than 80 startup companies. In 2002, NUS assumed a leadership role in April the Association of Pacific Rim Universities, raising its global profile. Partnerships have been forged with leading universities and research organizations around the world, like the recent collaboration between NUS and Duke University for the establishment of the NUS Graduate Medical School. Since 2002, the University Awards have recognized the achievements of exceptional faculty members in many areas education, research and service to university, country and the international community. Integrated living and learning and a plethora of social, arts and sporting activities have become the hallmark of the NUS student experience and pivotal to quality education. The Office of Alumni Relations is continually making links with a strong base of 150,000 graduates, helping establish NUS as a truly distinctive national and international institution. Like salmon returning to spawn in their original waterway, the alumni of NUS returns, year after year, to reconnect, reinvigorate and reinvent their future together with their alma mater. The journey over the past 100 years has made NUS one of the top universities in the world. It's a journey that continues and propelled by the will to be excellent.